All right, well, NASA is boldly doing what no one has done before, flying a helicopter on Mars. The Ingenuity has unfolded its propeller, and the plan is for the first ever test flight on another planet to happen this Sunday. Oh, totally geeking out over this. We're thrilled to be are. joined <laughs> by Teddy Zanetos. He's the tactical lead at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where, by the way, my mom used to work a long, long time ago. Hey, good morning to you, and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So um, this is not something you're doing just because, hey, we can do it. Uh, there are practical applications to this, but I want to get to the challenge that lie ahead. For those that don't know it, um, there are lift issues, atmospheric issues. There are people there maybe are a little bit nervous. I saw that some of the test flights in that simulation and boy, that thing went up and went right back down. So there are some nerves out there, right? The test and simulation, I mean, it was all part of the process. We're very excited to have our, our, our baby ingenuity on the surface of Mars right now. We're excited to have our first Wright Brothers moment, really, for Mars. Uh, and we've done a lot of tests, like you mentioned, in the chambers to make sure along the way that we're baby stepping and getting ready for the real thing. So we're very excited. We're a couple days away from it right now, and and team couldn't be happier. So what's the plan here if all goes right? How far and how long are we going to see ingenuity fly? Sure. So there are five flights planned within the month of Ingenuity, um, but the first one is really the important one. The whole point of Ingenuity is that we're a technology demonstrator. We want to prove that we can. We want to prove that we can fly on Mars and be that, that foundation for future missions to, to add that aerial dimension. Um, the first flight is going to be very simple. Uh, take off, hover, and a land. Uh, after that, team will celebrate. We'll be very excited. Our, our dreams will have come true. And then we'll follow up with four successive missions after that for the remainder of the month. So for all of us who watched Matt Damon and The Martian, and he had to get places, and he always had to drive around the mountains, <laughs> one of the cool things about this is, uh, potentially down the road, is that these things could potentially carry payloads, right? And then you wouldn't have to worry so much about the topography. Yes, one day, that, that's definitely one of the, one of the things we're, we're dreaming towards in the future. Uh, being able to take the lessons learned from Ingenuity um, and build off that, right? We're going to download a lot of critical engineering data in this month, and that's going to really be the foundation for future missions to potentially carry, like you say, uh, scientific payloads to execute scientific missions, right? Uh, or maybe one day help future human explorers on the Red Planet. Tell us a little bit about the helicopter. I see here on the bottom, uh, you know, description, it says it's about the size of a Kleenex box. Well, how did it go up there? Was it attached? Explain it for our viewers. And what, what little uh, things do we not know that, that you know, little, little secrets that you can tell us about that helicopter? <laughs> so Ingenuity is about four pounds. Very, very light. Needs to be that light to be able to fly on, uh, on Mars. Uh, and that's because the atmosphere is so thin. It's 1% that of Earth. So it needs to be very light, very compact. Uh, and the way we got there is we've been tucked underneath the belly of, of Perseverance this entire time. So if you can imagine uh, all the way from Kennedy Space Center when we did our final integration, all the way through launch, cruise, EDL, entry, descent, and landing, uh, the seven minutes of terror. Uh, and, and since we've landed on Mars, we've been attached to the belly of Perseverance. And that's how we have our umbilical back to Perseverance to get energy and, and uh, uh, you know recharge and communicate. Um, but in the last you know, several days, we finally did our deployment and we've been now separated. Uh, Perseverance is starting to drive away to its observance location, uh, observing location rather, uh, and, and we're getting ready to do our first flight. We're in our commissioning phase right now where we're baby stepping our way forward. Uh, we've unlocked our blades uh, and, and just, you know, just this past last night, we confirmed that our, our 50 RPM uh, spin and wiggle sequence worked. So the blades are looking healthy. The actuators are looking healthy. Everything's looking good. Uh, we have one more big milestone in front of us, uh, which will be a high-speed spin on the ground. We're not going to take off uh, before we do our, our first flight, our Wright Brothers moment on Mars. Well, we're out of time, but real quick, for those of us here in Chicago, what time should we be tuning in to NASA uh, this Sunday? Sure. So uh, it's going to be Sunday, uh, late Sunday night. It'll be very early in the morning, Monday morning. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, Pacific time, it's going to be around uh, 12 30, 12 45. Uh, we'll, we'll be looking at the data Pacific to back out a couple hours for Chicago time. Uh, and, and yes, please tune in, please cheer us on. Oh, I, I will for sure. I'll just be getting up. All right, Teddy Zanetos, uh, best of luck and yeah, Godspeed. Good luck with uh, let's see a helicopter fly on Mars. How cool is that? Thanks so much. Thank you.